All right, I'm here with Rob and Chrissy. Say good morning, good Rob morning. and Chrissy. Good morning. It is morning, isn't it? Yep. Still? Yes. Yeah. It's early. It, and it's yeah and it's a beautiful morning but uh we're going to go ahead and do a quick walkthrough on your trailer and i noticed here that you have a uh, 7 by 16 is that correct yes all righty and uh and it's got six foot six and a half foot ceilings right? yes yes right okay so tell us about tell us about the exterior here rob go ahead and, and chrissy you know uh the first thing that i see tell us about these jacks you've got mounted here well, we bought we bought them because he didn't want to get in, get down on the ground to mm -hmm. crank them up. So we we look we found we, we get that drill and we gotta put the drill on it. And just, just drill it. That. Wow! And then of course they fold up out of the way yep. when you're traveling down the road. Yeah, that's a whole lot easier than what I have to do. Uh, for sure <laughs> absolutely it, it saves yes. the back and knees yeah yeah and then of course you got an outdoor outlet right there yep mm -hmm. the one to the 110 and tell us about your windows up here they're just uh shed style doors we bought them to fit between the joist on the inside so it would be easier insulation and everything and they were pretty easy to install oh yeah sure. they were yeah. i said they weld in some bars going to the side and we put uh, butyl tape and screws and silicone. Cutting yeah. was the scariest part. But, but what was the Cutting. scary? Cutting. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> that's when you you grit your teeth and you say, "Oh, am I doing the right thing here?" Exactly. I know for sure on that. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's walk on over here. And uh, I see you got your propane tank here. Yeah, we teed it off so we can have propane for the inside and, and for, for and one for an outside use for the outside grill. And it does pretty good. And you've got the outside grill uh, at the back of the trailer yes, right yeah. now. I mean, right. we, yeah, we got a 20 foot hose so we can put it wherever we want to put I it. I see. In. So that was a shady area. We went back here this time. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you got a power tongue jack here. That's a lifesaver. Yeah. Is it working good for you? Oh, yeah. It, it, yeah, it works real good. Fantastic. And I like the way your toolbox fits there, too. It uh, fits the contour of the tongue really nice. Yeah, we looked and looked for them. We tried to figure out what kind of one, and we found this in here, and this works. It works perfect. Good, so. good, good. All right, well, let's step on over here a little bit. Whoops. Sorry. And oh, I have. <laughs> I, I I'm kicking those uh, trailer hitches all the time. It's just part part of life, you know. <laughs> but anyway, and we'll see. We got you more uh, more jacks on this side as well. Yep. And what's this got? What you got going on here? That's our TV antenna. Uh huh. It it does an alright job. It's just something we came up with just to have a little bit, so we have a little bit of TV and everything. He likes local channels. I understand. So. I understand. So uh, does it pick up the local channels pretty decent around here? Yeah. Yeah. I think I picked up this time here. I think I picked up probably thirty channels. Wow, mm -hmm. that's really good because we're way down here next to the water and yeah. we got mountains and tall hills all around here so that that's actually I think pretty I, good i don't know why but it seems like i pick up more in the evening than i do in the during the daytime sure mm -hmm. i don't know if it's because the little clear but well i'm sure that has something to do with it for sure but we got it for our last two trips and 30 days for amazon ends in two days so we will have to make a decision to keep it or not <laughs> i think it's a keeper he you likes think it. it's a keeper all he right mm -hmm. mighty fine and then i see another shed shed window here i see you've got another one on down yep. there yep. as well why don't you go ahead and step in front of me guys and uh let's uh oh no oh, you're you're part of this chrissy come on <laughs> all right and then uh, you got your power inlet right yep. here yep right here it's a one okay. one the 110 30 amp mm -hmm. and we yep. got this is for the cable Yes, sir. For TV, and we bought. She found this here. It's a gra carbon gra for ground. It's a carbon ground for ground for your antenna. So if the lightning strikes, that's supposed to help. Oh, really? Short anything out. We no don't know kidding. If it works or not, but we got it. <laughs> well, at least you've got it. You know, and uh, we've we've had issues with lightning strikes. Mm -hmm. And in case you happened to catch those videos mm -hmm. before, where we had some issues. And this this is our city water intake here. We just we got a inside where we got it hooked up at. We got a, um, oh, I can't remember the name of the valve now. But anyway, it, it'll stop it from going into the fresh water tank. Check. We, got a check, check valve. Yeah, check yeah. valve. Yes, sir. Is it, I, That's okay. That's okay. Right. It's hard we to remember simple, all the so names of this stuff. We just kind of feed it, and we have the jug, and that way it doesn't fill into our jug of water. Gotcha. Gotcha. All righty. Now, 
course we can't really see it too good but you uh, if they might be able to catch that there on a the corner there but I see a solar panel right there so tell us what uh, what kind of solar you got uh, going on. We have on. rich solar and then it's uh, two 100 watt panels. Okay mm -hmm. and your batteries? Uh, we have two 100 amp gel. Okay mm -hmm. and and I'm assuming also because you said you you will want to use it to keep your refrigerator going when you're traveling so you yes. do have an inverter as well. Yes. yes. And what size is your inverter? Uh, 1500 watt. Wow. We, well, we she did knows go, all this stuff, doesn't she? Well, she did all the research on it. Oh, yeah. I did the solar, I did all the 12 volt and he did the uh, um, 110. Right. I see. So yeah, I was that was my job in figuring this out because we didn't know anything about electricity. So that well, was she, my she job. watched a lot of uh, Will Prowse. Will Prowse. I got his yeah. book and I, that was he's constantly he's, reading that thing. He's the solar guru. Yeah, but I, I know enough to that I think I know what I'm doing, but. It's working. Two years. Hey, it's working and it's worked for two mm -hmm. years. So evidently we did something right, yes, didn't we? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this is just really neat, nice and uh, nice and compact and everything. And uh, and we would walk around to the back, but you've got the ramp door shut. And mm -hmm. So there's no reason to go back there, I guess. So I guess what we need to do now is step into the okay. inside of the trailer. You ready to do yep. that? Yep. All right, let me step back over here. What you and need? I'm going to try not to <laughs> knock my shins on the... Uh, on the hitch there this time. All right, I'm gonna let you guys just start uh, walking us through it here. Tell us about your uh, your interior here. How Basically, you we got we got a pantry here, just for storage, just for storage and stuff. And we're just normally weekend campers, so we still have to work during the week, so. Normally just a couple of days of, our trips are normally four days or less. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then, then like our grill, when we're down with our grill, we stick, we stick it down here underneath the refrigerator. Okay. And then just, just. That's, that's how if we uh, overflow our tank, that's our great water tank, uh, yeah, like a blue boy. I got you. Yeah. Okay. Mighty fine. Then we, then we got like a shelf back here for extra stuff. Let me step in here. So food storage. I'm not done with the kitchen. I'm oh, okay. Now I see it right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Dead space, so we put it to use. Yeah. And then and just start right in the sink. Then underneath here, we got a hot, a hot water heater, on demand ventless. Mm hmm. And there's our water tanks and our gray tank. Oh, and I see you're using a Hepvo yes. uh, P trap. We use those on the red trailer. Those that's, that's, really, that's where we got it from. You guys. Oh, really? Okay. Yep. And those work Sorry. really, really nice. Really, really nice. They sure do. Tell us about your fridge here. How big is it? Uh, uh, well, we start last year. We started off with the mini fridge. You know, that's this tall. That did not work. <laughs> we knew that after the first year we had to go bigger, so we went with this one. I'm I thinking think it's, it's four cubic. Four, three point eight. Three point eight or four or something. Yeah. I see. Yeah. So we needed bigger, definitely. And then we we, we mounted it to, we screwed it to the uh, shelf so it wouldn't mm -hmm. bounce off. And as we get on the highway, we, we put these here on the side of it to help keep the doors locked going down the highway. Mm -hmm. So that way there, doors don't bounce open and food's everywhere. And those hold real good, huh? Yep. Yeah. Oh, well, fantastic. And made on our last longest trips, this trip here. And so fantastic, fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I see you got a microwave right here. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then I got one, one drawer. <laughs> one drawer. That's pretty much a junk drawer. Gather all drawer. Yes, sir. And we got more storage down here. Well, we haven't built shelves yet because um, I don't know what how what height we want, but that's our CO2 too. CO2. Mm -hmm. So since we have propane in here, we wanted to make sure that was covered. Exactly. We'll just, that's our shoes for now, but there'll be shelves there eventually. Of, of course, yeah. And this is the brain. And then, does this look familiar? I got that from Ben. Uh, yeah, yeah, it looks very familiar. It I was going to mention that. It took a year until when I saw you guys found it, and it's like that's exactly what I'm needing. There you go. There you mm -hmm. go. And then what? What do we got here? This oh. is all the brains of everything. Uh -huh. That's the electric. Like, you got your panel here, and then this is your uh, 12 volt fuse panel right yep. here. Yeah. This is your um, AC fuse panel, yep. and your uh, your charger. charger. Mm -hmm. Slash. So that's our converter, and then there's right. our inverter, and then right. our solar channel, uh, solar charger, and then we have an EMS. Good we deal. did a hardwire EMS. A good deal. And then these are your two gel okay. batteries mm -hmm. here. Yep. And yeah. then when we want to charge, so we just unplug here and plug it in here, and 
and that's how we keep the fridge going. I see. Well, that makes it nice and easy. Right. Yeah. And we didn't want to have to bend over. We didn't want to be on our knees to work on things. So we took, we chose to have the space easy access. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, it, uh, it's nice to have everything at your fingertips right there. I love your ceiling here, by the way. Thank you. It's, it's quarter just, inch Luan, and we just put clear uh, polyurethane over it. Yeah. Well, we like it, the color, just clear. It really come out nice, mm -hmm. really nice. And I'm and I'm six foot three, and I've still got you know mm -hmm. about three inches mm -hmm. of clearance here, so I can stand straight up and down with no problem. And of course, I see your television right yeah. here, and now the bed. Bed, it's a Murphy, just a regular old Murphy's bed. We made the frame that we use a uh, boat seat swivels to make it swivel up and down. Oh, really? The sets are pretty expensive, so we found it on YouTube, and we have the gas shots and the boat swivels. So it, it folds up pretty yeah. easy then and compact up to the side. Mm -hmm. If you want to grab this in, I'll grab it right in. Oh, well, you can do it. Okay. Technically, you only need one person. I can even do it by myself, but. Oh, well, we didn't clean up. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> these, these come off. So like, these I was if I forgot we didn't clean don't up. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about these it. Come, these come off so we don't hit your head on them or nothing. Yeah. Just screw it. right out. Yep. Exactly. And those are just regular flanges. Do you can buy yep. those at, at Harbor, uh, Harbor Store. Yeah, Lowe's, Home Depot. They all carry them uh, back in the plumbing section. <laughs> that was horrible. Now, you originally... Uh, was going to try to haul a side by side in here or something. Yes. yes. And tell me the story about that again. Well, we what really happened? we found out once we, had, we bought this, we got started looking at side by sides. Our door wouldn't. Ah. Uh, it, it was too. The spot <coughs> here was too low. We could get one in here, but we got to flatten the tires every time. We got to bring an air compressor with us. So that probably be more of a hassle than it would be. Enjoyment. So, my, my, my our four wheelers are still fitting here though. We put this bed up. We put, put the four wheelers. I see. Well, hey, so. so. And we normally travel with it down for Cause, weight. Because we have it up, it gets real. Oh, cool. really? Yeah. So, so we, it, we leave it down, so we, it kind of evens out. Yeah, it shifts all the weight more to one side. I can see that. I can see that. And uh, and I see you've got a, a, a RV style uh, overhead air yes. conditioner. Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, so we put that up and we bought the kit. These these knobs don't work no more, so we we was able to run it by a kit so we can go run the thermostat off of everything. Ah. So it'd yeah. kick on and off and Right. Right. But you were telling me one of these days you're planning on uh, I think I got him convinced. I wanted the mini split from the beginning. But uh we went with this and I think we went to Brad and Karen's trailer and looked at theirs and it sold him on the mini split. <laughs> I see. I and see. I, and since I haven't done my kitchen yet, I there's a perfect spot right there for it. I yeah, think. the air handle will fit mm -hmm. right there. It will fit very easily right so. there. So, so now what you had, you know what's in store for you, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Eventually. I'll put it on my list. Uh, mm -hmm. put it on the, yeah, I'm sure you've got a, quite a list growing, you know, going at the same time. I like also, awesome, sure. all these here are removable and all of our wires are running up here, so we gotta get to our wires. Who gave you that idea? That's just how we ran on this. Oh, really? No, you. Oh. <laughs> That's what he did. Oh. Same, That's way, okay. same way at the back, we did the same the, for our lights, for the trailer lights. Them, them covers come off, so we get to the trailer light wires. Anything else you want to show us before we... Uh, we're pretty simple. I mean, we this is just a... We feel this yeah. is a simple build, but it's perfect for us. Yeah. And I love the space, and Absolutely. we love the freedom of going. And I know folks are going to ask, because they always do, you know, some, some will say, okay, where's the shower, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you do about bathrooms and things like that? So you want to kind of give us Okay, a well, I haven't built it yet. I chose to buy trash cans instead. But my idea for the shower is I did buy this already. I got it from the beginning, and a water hose connects to it because we didn't want to have to run more water. Right. So this will a water hose will fit in this, and I'll get a doggy um, get bathtub, one. the foldable kind. Yeah. And then... We're going to put rings up here. We're going to put a ring. So covers the vent have a shower curtain hanging down so you take a shower right here and then we have a um old water pump and we'll use the water pump to want pump the water from the the, the tub, tub to the, the great back into this mm -hmm. so it goes to the gray tank that'll work real slick I think we're going to try to do it here so that way there we can use the vent as an mm -hmm. exhaust vent exactly and yep. then and here because we don't want to run more water lines right. so 
it's all done. Yeah, well that that, that makes it real nice and simple. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Well, Rob and Chrissy, uh, this is really neat. It's really neat the way you've put this together. Now, how long did it take you to do the build? We did it off and on. It takes, if you did put everything together about six months, but we spread it out over two years. <laughs> oh. Well, so, we did, we, we only worked on it in the spring and fall uh -huh. when it wasn't hot outside. Right. And then, um, and we only had the weekends and sometimes we were busy on the weekends. So we would only work on it Here two to it. three, two sometimes just two times a month in you know spring and fall so it really it took us a while it'll be all day on the weekends you know? i got right. you well what that does though that helps you that gives you time in between when you're working on it to think about what you want to do next i agree and uh, actually what that can mean is uh, you won't have to redo stuff <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that and much because we haven't determined i didn't want originally the microwave was supposed to go here and we bought a toaster oven. Uh, toaster oven and that was supposed to go above the fridge when we had the smaller fridge but we decided we didn't need that and we chose to put the microwave down here so we didn't have as much weight on top and we'd have more space right but i still need my shelvings for dishes and cups and such well you're going to get there yeah uh, hopefully when we meet again down the road which i'm sure that we will we'll mm -hmm. see a few more innovations that you've uh, uh, included in in your build here but right now it's working really good for you mm -hmm. and uh it's just really neat uh nice and and basic and easy to mm -hmm. set up right and that's the whole idea that was what it? we wanted mm -hmm. the that whole was our idea goal. all righty well we uh, really appreciate y'all coming out to the rendezvous and and we understand y'all have to go ahead and leave early because you got to get back to everyday life yes yeah. work calls yeah so we're going to miss you for the rest of the uh, oh rendezvous. we had so much fun and we've only been here the two days with you guys but it the atmosphere the the people, it's wonderful. We're so glad we came and we're trying to figure out a way to get to Florida now with vacation, so it's a little iffy, sure. but loved it. Well, when, when you guys come back up here, we'll be up here again. Well, we're gonna, Deb and I are gonna keep trying to have these as often as we can mm -hmm. until we get to where we're too old and <laughs> to continue doing them. Mm -hmm. But uh, we really appreciate y'all uh, taking the time to come down here and see us and uh, visit with us. And let me ask you this, uh, cause you met a lot of new mm -hmm. people in the last couple of days mm -hmm. just well, practically everybody, everybody was new to you yep. guys you know yep. how did you feel after you visited with them for like 15 minutes oh. felt like family yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. everybody, everybody. Yeah, we played games down there we played games up there and <laughs> both our, we met both of our neighbors and <laughs> and then all and then everybody else you know you walk by and you have the highs and the yeah yeah that's the thing that deb and i notice more than anything else and we talk about it every night mm -hmm. you know how everybody, you know, within 15 minutes is like everybody's known mm -hmm. each other for years. Mm -hmm. And that's what we appreciate the most about about what we're doing here. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. So anyway, for now, though, we're going to go ahead and sign off. We really appreciate you taking the time. I know you were busy packing because you got to get going here shortly. So I appreciate the fact that you let me come in here and shoot this video right quick. And... And the next thing I want to say is have a safe trip home. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And then we want to remind all of our followers, <laughs> this is Bill, Chrissy, and Rob. Yep. And we're saying we're not camping. We're we living. are living. Exactly. All right. Thank yeah, you we so much. Yeah, we're on that one. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you.